In this video we're taking a look at how we can use the X431 Pro Elite to evaluate the health of a battery on a BMW F generation and many of the content and the things that we will be showcasing in this video will be valid even for the previous generation, the E platform of BMWs. So first thing to look at, we connect our beautiful diagnostic tool and we are going to evaluate the voltage under load when we want to start the vehicle. Recording will now start. The most challenging part from a battery perspective is to supply the current needed for the vehicle to start. As it is getting colder, that current will be even higher. So if we just want to test the battery's capacity under load, one very effective old school method is to go to the engine ECU. Ideally in the past people would be using a multimeter and getting someone else to crank the vehicle but now because we have this fancy diagnostic tool we are going to go to the engine ECU, go for live data, we ensure that the ignition is on and you want to prepare this test. So ideally the engine should be cold so that the resistance inside of the engine is the highest and that's the reason why I'm preparing the data list first and after that starting the engine. I don't start the engine in advance. We have selected our brand. We are now identifying the vehicle. We go to system selection, drive. I'm going for the engine ECU because this is a big ECU that usually is in charge of the charging system. We bring up data stream, live data, diagnostic request. And here the main thing that I want to see is battery voltage. We go on a graph scale. So what am I looking for? I'm looking for the voltage to not go under 8 volts. That is kind of a crucial point in starting the engine. BMW might have even more detailed write-ups in their technical documentation. You will see that the X431 struggles to pause that value. So you might hit record to see it later, but I'm just gauging it based on the graph. Starting the engine. And the thing that we are interested in, let's see if we're able to make it bigger. We're not. Let's make a print screen. You will notice that these guys from um, launch have it a bit awkward in this type of setup because if I actually want to zoom in or pause it, I'm not able to pause it. But our value was this little thing over here. If our voltage when cranking is under 8 volts, that is not a very good sign. After that, another thing that we can evaluate is that the vehicle is actually charging the battery. And that is done by ensuring that the voltage is higher than 12.6 volts. So anything voltage wise over 12.6, the battery is getting charged. Anything under 12.6, the battery is getting discharged. Different vehicles might have different values. I've seen some Mercedes and even the Honda have a very strange battery management system in which at idle they will trickle charge the battery or they will not charge the battery but on average on the majority of BMWs I've seen a higher than 12.6 voltage at idle. Now we go for the actual diagnostic bit and we are aiming to see the charge state that the, the vehicle's battery management system knows about and to achieve that we will be going in the main menu we want to go to special functions i am going to maintenance nope we are going to go to body and here evaluate the battery state of charge you can read the description and we have two main things to look at the state of charge for the last five days and here we are able to see a historical overview of if the battery has been charged, if the user doesn't actually drive the vehicle that much or if there are any problems. So if you're seeing under 50-60% the chances that the battery is not able to hold the load or you're not driving it enough is quite increased. Read the additional information if you need it. And now we look at the charge histogram. This is telling us an even broader view of the battery behavior and how well it was charged. We are getting an hourly rate 
of at what charge level the vehicle has been used. This tells us about the way that we are using the vehicle and if we need to do some changes. So if you're having a lot of hours under the 50 to 70% area, you should find ways of increasing the amount of charge that is going in the battery or the battery is not able to hold the charge that well. We end the service function. That was part of the overview. Another thing that you might want to see, especially if you haven't had the vehicle for a long period of time, and especially if the vehicle has had a battery change, you can check that by going in the booth of the vehicle. You go to register battery exchange and here the battery management system gives you an interesting bit of information. It will tell you when the battery or you have the option of also seeing at what mileage has a new battery been registered to the vehicle. Hit F1 and we're able to see that on my vehicle I've changed the battery at that mileage and until now it had only one battery change changed. We also are able to see details about the battery capacity. We don't want to do any changes so we are going to go to end service function with the F2. Okay right now we have seen that we are able to check the voltage when starting the vehicle so under load. We're able to go in the servicing menus and see at what percentages or in what range of charge the battery has been been used and we are able to check if a new battery has been registered and when. All of this information gives us a nice overview of what is happening with the battery, correlate that information with the actual battery that is in the vehicle, has it been changed, hasn't it been changed. Also take into account that the vehicle will be giving you warning messages far in advance of your battery becoming not fit for purpose because the system, the overall system is quite conservative. I've seen many people driving their vehicles long after the warning messages on the dash were prompting them to, to the actual changes for the battery.